Hey guys, so um, I'm going to do a get ready with me. Um, I don't know if I'm going to include this within within a vlog or I'm just going to have this separately. I think most likely I'm going to do this video separately because get ready with me are usually pretty long. <laughs> but um, so the makeup look that I am going for is actually this. I don't know if you guys can see. Hold on. It's actually this look right here. You can kind of see it. This one right here. That makeup look. Probably not going to look exactly the same. But that's what my inspo is for today. Um, so in the palette that I'm going to be using is the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette. Absolutely one of my favorite palettes. I just love the warm color is with the shimmery and the glitter colors. Love that. So that's what um, I'm going to be doing. And I just want to sit down and kind of sit down and kind of talk with you guys. By the way, everything that I'm using, if I could forget to mention or whatever, um, um, it's going to be linked down below. I'm just going to prime my eyes really quick here. I added a little bit of a white eyeshadow pencil that I had from this next, but I think I'm going to add some of this, some of the Tarte Shape um, concealer to prime my eyes for the look right now. But yeah, guys, I just kind of wanted to sit back and kind of talk to you guys about uh, my recent family dog that passed away. Now, you guys know that I have a pug, which is Nova. Um, she's three years old, by the way. But um, we also have another family dog who is actually my brother's dog. Um, <clears throat> um, ever since he came back and lived, ever since he came back to live in Virginia, um, he was living with us for a little bit when he first came back a couple years ago, but he kind of just left the dog with us, um, just because he just didn't have time anymore. He was always, always working busy, so he kind of just left the dog here with my parents, um, <clears throat> and plus, I think once my brother moved out, my brother, um, my mom was kind of like begging him to like leave the dog here. So, yeah. Um, now the family, she's a, the dog that passed away, she's a miniature pincher. Um, <clears throat> so how, I just want to talk about how like how we ended up taking her to the vet. This happened last, um, last week. Um, on Monday, we actually, like, I noticed and my dad noticed, because my dad is usually the one that walks her and feeds her, but sometimes, since, you know, I could have my hand full sometimes with Nova, with my pug, um, my dad is usually, you know, the one taking care of Miss Jade, um, that's her name. <clears throat> so, but lately I've noticed that this past week she has not been wanting to eat. And yeah, that, that was, that was our main concern. She hasn't been wanting to eat and not even too, like too long ago, her, like her appetite, like she hasn't been eating all of her food. So, which is a little concerning. And we, not only that, but we've noticed that she's lost a significant amount of weight where like she was coming to the point where like you can pretty much like see her fucking like ribs and you can feel it and she weighs so light especially compared to my pug which is funny but um <clears throat> so yeah we were, our concern is that she wasn't eating and not only that but um one of her eyes she was walking around with one eye shut so her eye situation looked her eye looked look very like cloudy and it had a lot of like um like eye boogers in her so she was kind of walking around like this for like this this happened like Tuesday night is when we noticed that and she didn't want to eat um usually we we'd feed it like older dogs their teeth aren't as you know like any human really um her teeth aren't as um strong so we kind of she was still eating her like cereal hard food but my 
parents, what they would do is was they would um, kind of water it down so the it would get soft and she would eat that. But lately she hasn't been wanting to eat that. So I had told my dad, I was like, Dad, why don't you go buy wet food, you know, like wet dog food for her to eat. Um, so that was, hold on. So I'm going to go ahead and start with this color first, the Eden first on my as my transition color I'm gonna use this flushy brush here so so that was our concern like she wasn't eating and we gave her the first night that my dad bought her the wet food she did eat it and he kind of mixed it in with the soft cereal that we usually give her she did eat it and that was like Monday night I think I was like okay cool you know she's as long as she eats something is what matters so, but then the next night, we tried to feed her in the morning. She didn't want to eat. We're like, you know what? We, and the other thing, is too, is that we can't leave the food out there for her to whenever she wants to eat. Because then my other dog, my pug, will eat, end up eating the food. <laughs> and I don't need her to be gaining any more weight. So I was like, you know what? Let's just, um, I'll come back later that night to see if she wants to eat again, you know? I'm trying to trying to make her eat again so um I was like whatever dad you know it's okay like I'll come back when I come home from work I'll try and feed her so he's like you know what I'm just gonna give her so I come back home from work Tuesday night to see if she wanted to eat so but this time I, I kind of just gave her like the wet it was like beef beef wet food like beef meat for dogs and I kind of gave her that she still didn't want to eat and when I noticed that that's why I was like something's wrong because I know Miss J like dogs love to eat like she is a carnivore like she loves to eat meat so if she's not eating meat there is something wrong you know what I mean it's not like I was giving her like freaking lettuce or something you know so I was like there is something wrong she's not eating she hasn't eaten it's been and then by that by this time it's been like a day that she hasn't eaten so we're like okay that's when I knew something was really wrong but then later that night we also noticed I was like something's wrong with her eye because she's walking around like this and her eye looks really cloudy and like dried up and like something like gunk was coming out of her eyes so we're like okay maybe it's she either has maybe like an infection an infection I wasn't sure if it was an infection or something serious is going on with her eye but what what made it concerning was that her eye was very cloudy, cloudy. So, okay, next I'm going to go in with this blazing color here along with the transition color. I'm going to use another different um, blending brush. I'm going to also put that as a transition color right here. But I um, hope you guys can see. So I'm using like natural lighting before it goes away. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that on the transition color. But um, so yeah, you know, we noticed that her eye was messing up. And not only that, the previous week before that, I've been noted like I've been like smelling this like bad odor around the house and I couldn't figure it out. Until that night, I was like, you know what? I, that Tuesday night that I was trying to make her eat when I came back from work, I noticed that the bad odor that I was smelling this entire time was coming from Miss Jade. It was coming from the dog, and it was coming from her mouth. And I'm like, something must be wrong with her teeth that's not making her want to eat, you know? So I was like, okay, something's wrong. And that's when I was like, you know what, let me text my brother, and maybe he can try and take her to the vet. Um... Because, you know, that's his responsibility. Like, that's his dog. So if anything's serious or anything's wrong with her, I have to let him know. See if he wants, like, you know, obviously she doesn't want to do, you know, the normal, like, what a normal dog is supposed to act like that. So I was like, hey, I texted my brother, like, hey, you know, Miss Jade hasn't been really, like, um acting normal she doesn't want to eat and then we notice that something's wrong with her eye you might want to stop by and come check her out so Tuesday night my brother comes over and he's like yeah he does like a little 
exam like he ex starts examining her and he's like yeah something she she apparently had a cut on her um gums so she was bleeding from her gums for some reason and we don't even know how long um so she was uh bleeding from her 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 gums so we're like wow so that's probably so the bad odor was coming from her mouth from her bleeding everywhere and her her teeth looked like they were in bad shape as well um okay so now i'm gonna go in with this purple look right here m emptheus i don't know how you say that but um yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and use another different blush right here so my brother had come over and started examining her he was like yeah something looks like something is wrong he's like you know what i'm gonna try and see if she wants to eat something so i'm gonna put this in my inner corner here a little bit he's like you know what let me see if she wants to eat something okay the color is not coming off here <clears throat> and not only that he's like yeah something something's wrong with her eye so he's like, you know what, let me go ahead and try and buy her something like a different type of wet food that she might like, you know. And I'm like, okay, cool. So I end up going with my brother to like PetSmart or whatever to buy her like a different type of food that maybe she'll like that will make her want to eat. Because the, our main concern was like she needs to eat because she hasn't eaten in maybe like a day or so. So... Ooh, it's coming out pretty. So that was my, um, our concern was her trying to eat. So we bought her some food. My brother bought her, like, this little sweater because she also, when she went outside, since it's so cold outside, um, she didn't want to go out for walks or anything. So we're like, okay, let's, um, let's buy her a little sweater so she doesn't feel so cold. And then what else did he buy her? Oh, he bought her, like, these little dental wipes to kind of, like, wipe her teeth. She had a lot of, like, tar on her teeth, I guess. So we got her that. <clears throat> so we got her food, a sweater, and these dental wipes to wipe her teeth. <sighs> so, after we had did that... Um, okay, so um, now I'm going to be using a color for my BH... Uh, color palette here I'm gonna use this color it looks like a blue but it looks more it has more like silvery silver color so I'm gonna do that put some of this with my finger so me and my brother like I said me and my brother wore um we went out to um ooh, this is coming out pretty good um we went out to we went out to um, PetSmart to buy her that those things, you know. So <clears throat> we come back. My brother actually ends up feeding her, so she did eat before going to the vet, which was good. But she still looked like she was in bad shape because of her teeth. So it looked like when we tried to feed her, uh, she looked like she was just grabbing the food and swallowing it. She wasn't chewing. I mean, of, of course, it makes sense. Like, like when you have a toothache, you don't want to eat anything, you know, because your tooth hurts. You don't want to, you're trying to avoid um, using your teeth. So that's what it looked like. So my brother was like, you know what? I'm just going to end up taking her to the, let's just go to the vet because it doesn't look good. Ooh, this is coming out pretty cool. So, um, to the vet and... Um, yeah, unfortunately, when we took her to the vet, the doctor, you know, they check her out, they check her out and was like, yeah, she has multiple issues, um, but we're not for sure yet if, um, what exactly it is. So she's going to need blood work done. Um, and there's like different like type of blood works that you can do and my brother was like, you know what do the most advanced blood work because I really want to know Because I know she's an older dog 
So I really want to know how severe and what exactly is going on with her. He's like, okay, good. And the doctor, you know, the vet was like, yeah, I'm glad that you said that because, she, you know, she has a lot of issues going on. So we waited about an hour um, for the blood work because they did the blood work right then and there. And this was, you guys, this was like 930 already. So um, <clears throat> we waited in about an hour, not until like 1030-ish, um, maybe even more, maybe to 11 or something like that. Um I think I'm going to um, add some mascara now. So after the blood work was done, he was like, yeah. So this is what's going on. So she had so many issues, you guys. She had kidney failure, her kidney disease. So that's why she was going so skinny and why she was having a hard time eating. Well, not eating, but she had a hard time eating recently because of her teeth. So she had dental disease as well. Her teeth were... I guess going bad or rottening. I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and put this mascara on. I'm just using this uh, Maybelline Colossal Express. It's one of my favorites. I just like the brush. I'm going to go ahead and do that. She had kidney failure, kidney disease, whatever you want to call it, dental disease. And, that and then the thing with her eye, she had a freaking ulcer growing in her eye which basically is a disease that basically like eats your eye and makes you go blind and he said that could be very painful which could also be you know her not wanting to eat or anything so and not only that but kidney disease can also be painful so we're like dang like pretty much the doctor was like your dog is suffering like, she's suffering to the point where, like, she's suffering. She's very uncomfortable. So, my brother was like, whoa. Like, he kept, like, the doctor, the vet was like, she's suffering. She's suffering. You know what I mean? So, my brother was like, okay, so are you telling me, like, is this the time where I need to make a decision or not to put her down? And he's like, look, we can do all the treatments. We can't do the treatment on her teeth because she's too weak. She's pale. All the blood work that was done on her was pretty much, like, off the chart, you guys. Like, there's, like, a range of, like, that she's supposed to be in, whether she's low or super high. So, everything came either super high or super low. And it was, like, her white bl blood cells weren't working. So, that was bad. And now I'm going to put some eyeliner on. Where basically, yeah, her blood work results was really bad. And the doctor was like, wow, I've never seen results like this so bad, you know. And we're like, what the hell, you know, like. So, yeah. So, my brother was like, do I need to make a decision? And he was like, we can do treatment. But she's too weak to even have anything done. She's going to have to have blood in blood infusions or blood tissues. I don't know how you say it. But, um, she needs to stay here for at least 48 hours, which is going to cost a couple thousand, couple thousand, thousand dollars. She needs to come in every week after all these treatments. We can give her pain medicine, but that costs a lot of money. But it wasn't even about the money at this point. It was just like, she's going to go through all those treatments, but it's not going to go away. You know, everything is already set. And let me go ahead and put on this liner. Her disease... It's something that it's just going to keep getting worse, basically, is what I'm trying to say. So it's like, why why are we going to keep letting her suffer? You know what I mean? But, um, yeah, so that's when it's like, damn, we have to make that hard decision. Like, we don't, my brother was like, I just don't want her to suffer anymore. And you guys, when we did that decision, like, we, we, um, she's had a long life. Like, Miss Jade is 13, she was 13 years old, and usually the average span of miniature pinchers are, like, about 15 years. So she really honestly only had a couple years left, you know? She really only had a couple years left, really. So, I did a wing, I'm doing a wing liner this time. But, um, yeah, so we had to make that tough call, you know, to put her down because we just didn't want to, like, she was suffering. She literally slept all day. She didn't do anything. She didn't bark. It just felt really bad. So it, it even, at one point, 
look like she was struggling to even just go outside to pee and poop. You know what I mean? So we ended up, you know, calling everybody and letting them know that, unfortunately, we're gonna have to put down Miss Jade. It was me, my brother. <sighs> I just oh want to end the video by saying, like, you know, Miss Jade, like, she's tr literally the dog has traveled. She's had a better life than me so far. Like, she's traveled all over the world. She's been pregnant three times. Like, she's had three litters of puppies. Like, she had so many puppies. She's even had her husband, she had like a pair, like her boyfriend, husband, um, which was named Pepper, which he also passed away, but that's a different story. He also passed away, um, probably like four or five years ago. It was an accident, but, um, yeah, like she's lived such a long life that she's had a good life, you guys, and my brothers just didn't want her to suffer anymore put her to sleep and they it was like four injections the first two injections is to like help her numb the pain put her to sleep and then the last two is like the that would make her you know but during all that you know we got to spend before that, we got to spend a couple, a uh, few minutes, like 20 minutes or so, spending time with her, giving her love, and um, we did a couple prayers and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, we had to put her down, unfortunately, and she is getting cremated, so my brother's, my brother will be receiving um, her ashes soon. Let me do my hair now. I think I'm gonna wear it like uh, hair is already parted. Um, I'm gonna wear it in a low pony. But um, yeah, we had to put her down, guys. It was really sad, and it it made me a little bit more emotional because our first, very first family dog, which is a bigger dog, that was back in like 2014. I wasn't able to say goodbye and that's why it made me like emotional because I felt like this time is like damn I can finally say goodbye you know what I mean so it's part of life you know like we were already expecting that you know we were expecting something but we just it kind of was off guard because we're like damn like we didn't realize that tonight was going to be the night that we were going to put her down so let me brush my hair <clears throat> it was really sad and then I, I took a day a couple days off social media to kind of like really let it sink in because I knew it was going to be different around the house and luckily we still have Nova and my parents especially my dad my dad gets really attached to the dogs um and I'm gonna wear this um shirt and it's just like it's a casual day <laughs> I'm just wearing these like um leggings <laughs> but let me see if I can get better lighting here so you guys can really see the look oh looks like my lashes fall off but um hope you guys can see the uh final look here I need to fix that lash but yeah guys thank you for watching and thank you for those that sent me like sweet messages and stuff um, about Miss Jade. But yeah, that is all. See you guys later. Bye.